Greetings and thank you for this opportunity today to come to you and spend a few moments with you in the Word of God and in prayer. This week we are focusing on the subject of mental health and I'm just reminding us of a few scriptures and few things that, that we can expect God to work for us and in us, especially in our soul, in the area of our mental well-being. In 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, we read where the Apostle Paul, Paul had written that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Talking about soundness of mind. Now a sound mind has a sound concentration. Now a problem that some of us may have, I'm not saying all of us, struggle with, but some of us may struggle with, is a lack of concentration, a wandering mind, a distracted mind, an inability to focus on something for um, an extended period of time uh, what it, as, as required. We are unable to concentrate, that means give our full attention to something over a period of time. But we must take a hold of what God has provided for us. God has given to us the empowering of a spirit that produces in us love, power, and a sound mind. Wholeness of soul, mind, or mental health. Part of that is a sound concentration. So claim that for yourself. And you say, God has given me a sound mind and I have a sound concentration. I have the ability to focus, to pay attention, to fix my attention on something uh, as required for, uh, for an extended period of time. And uh, I break off uh, a distracted mind, I break off a wandering mind, I break off a, a mind that has uh, the inability to concentrate, but I claim a sound mind that is given to me by the empowering of the Holy Spirit, for God has given to me His Spirit, who gives love, power, and a sound mind. Now, of course, there are some practical things that we can do to develop our ability to concentrate, and we must also do that. You know, just like on other things. For example, you think about our physical health, God is our healer, true indeed. He's a miracle worker, true indeed. But He's also given us responsibility to take care of our health. That's our part in this, in, in, in walking in good health. Similarly, for us to walk in soundness of mind, there is God's provision, which is the empowering of the Holy Spirit to give us a sound concentration. But we also must do our part which is we must train or practice focusing on things for extended periods of time. Uh, in modern language, we call it doing deep work. That means you intentionally say, I'm going to keep the next 30 minutes, 45 minutes to focus on this thing, and I'm shutting off distractions. Big distractors for us could be, you know, our computer or, you know, phone or uh, uh, the news or other things, whatever, a lot of, lot of distractions. But when you and I say, I'm going to do deep work, I'm shutting off these distractions so that I'm going to intentionally focus on something for the next 30, 45 minutes, an hour or so, whatever you're going to spend time on. So that's our responsibility in ensuring we develop our capacity to concentrate. Sadly, the world we live in is a very distracted world. But remember, God has given you a sound mind, a sound concentration. Let's pray. Father, I pray for special, especially for people who may be struggling with their ability to concentrate. Today, in the name of Jesus, we take a hold of the empowering of the Holy Spirit that blesses us with a sound concentration. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.